Good morning. This has been a while. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, all that. Um, so today it's quite cold, but I managed to get away for a little gravel ride today because it isn't icy for the first time and I don't know how long or windy or absolutely Baltic. So got my winter kit on, gravel bike out and we're away for a little quick. I haven't actually pulled a route. I'm just going to go and investigate places. So Alex is at home, just being fed. Went up to a bike shop to see about getting a new bike because N plus one, but it's actually um, some future adventures. So, um, but unfortunately it was closed. <laughs> so we had to come back deflated, but um, yeah, I'm just so glad to be out again. Um, so I thought, I thought I'll just take you along for like local gravel and see how I get on. I've been doing a lot on the turbo, so I've, my legs actually feel really strong, so that's good. But yeah, I'll just get out and enjoy. Oh, I'm so glad I brought my buff. I almost left without it and I went back and got it. It's just taking that chill off my face. So I've just turned off um, onto the first gravel section. Um, which is really nice actually. I used to come around here as a kid and my mum took really embarrassing pictures and it has constantly on the wall all the time. But um, yeah, so recently, not been out much, just due to weather really. And obviously having Alex, is just getting the time to get someone to watch him and when he's settled. So I took the opportunity this morning. He was a bit, oh. Almost got run over. Yeah, I'll just cycle and talk. Yeah, so just managing to get out a few hours here and there when I can, but the weather's just been so awful. So just to come off road, um, it's actually quite nice because there's, okay, I'm still watching out for ice. I'm not being silly, but um, it's a lot easier when it's just mud and less ice factor. So I'll just see where this takes me. But I, I love this route, it's so nice. It's um, the one that I, I decided I did as a kid. So yeah, we'll just see. It is looking very muddy though. <laughs> it's so out of practice. Even like getting my layers out this morning, I was like, what do I need for winter riding? It's been so long. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll go around, I'll stop and chat on the way um, about what we're planning. I don't like if anyone else got any goals for this year. Like, I don't, I don't know. It's just a bit kind of, I've got an idea for obviously why we're getting a new bike. Um, and that's mainly to go adventuring with Alex. So um, I'll speak about that another time. Um, so we've got that in the plans. I'd love to go away with him, maybe Mallorca. So we're looking at some good gears so that we can go up hills with the bike trailer because that's going to be a hell of a lot of weight, but a really good training tool. Um, and yeah, like I said, I've just been doing Swift. So but look at this woods, it's so pretty. Such big trees here. Like a good tree. And the gnarly ones. But yeah, it's not actually, to be fair, I've got my deep winter jacket on and my deep winter tights and my uh, winter shoes. So I'm snug as a bug, it's nice. <laughs> so pretty. It's so quiet, I can actually hear voices from the other side of the loch. Like, I can see them and they're just talking, I can hear it. It's just so calm, there's no wind, it's so nice. So, I can see little bits of ice on the water, but... Yeah, so this is Blair's Loch, or Loch of Blair, some people say, and it's on Alter Estate, which is that they've been really invested in doing this place up loads recently. There's like a new, I think one of the, I think it's Glasgow, Cali, or Glasgow Art, anyway, um, uni, have come up here and taken over a really old building and made it into like, a place for a retreat, so they've really invested a lot of money. So this is a really small loop around some lovely, like, forestry bits, but it's actually really good. I have an out of practice on the gravel skills. Um, because my like main fear is like tree roots, wet tree roots in particular, and this is just surrounded in wet tree roots, and uh, kind of slopes like this. I mean, that's probably looks like nothing on camera, but it's actually really steep and scary. So uh, just calm down that survived I'm okay and then we're heading up this way so it's like lots of windy twindy little rails and you could just do laps of it it's like you know it's like not a huge route but like I was saying before that guy scared me um was that the altar estate have invested a huge amount of money into like doing up this 
little pond, well it's a loch really, but um, with loads of hides, um, doing up the paths a little bit because obviously they were getting really muddy and eroding. Um, there was a wee boat house that used to be a wreck of a place and now it's like so pretty, they've painted it up and there's like outdoor learning, like a little classroom for kids to come and do stuff and fire skills and yeah, so it's, it's really nice to see people doing that and putting money in back into the area. Oh, other bikes, cycles. Mum, Dad! Woo! What a small world! I'm like, oh, other bikes! It's my mum and dad. <laughs> so they're on the roadies today though, so they must be going up to Loch and Dorm. Oh, that's so funny! Uh, see, like, this is why like, I love it being moved back up home with my family. They all, well, my mum and dad, right? So uh, it's quite nice to be able to go out, but I'm going to go and see. They must be off to Loch and Dorm. Um, but yeah, they're like high-vis jackets. Like, they've got telltale signs. I was like, oh, it's definitely some bikers I know. Oh, I love being home. Right, anyway, I'll get back to it. They smell so good down here. It smells of pine, so they're obviously cutting and felling trees down here, and it just smells so good. Like, I was brought up on that smell because <laughs> my dad had a holiday business. So, all I, as soon as I smell that, I just smell of like it's memories for me. It's really nice, as well as Christmas. Very piney. Who needs an air freshener in your car when you've got that? It smells so good. Some time ago, this used to be a road. Um, and they've just left it to get grown over, which is really good for, well, forestry, but also for gravel, like me. Just love being up here. It's, it's just woods and woods for days and loads of different options you can go and explore. This is probably going to get edited so badly because I'm having to like put my hand down every so often just to grip. <laughs> That's the only thing about filming when you're doing gravel. It's, Unless you've got the one on the handlebar, it's a little bit harder to do things with one hand. I'm just enjoying this so much! <laughs> Woohoo! I feel the rain! Oh no! Forecast line, as usual. It's gonna rain, I think. But I do have a pack away with me, so I should be okay. It's not gonna stop me. Still gonna go, I'm free. So pretty. So back on tarmac to just connect me onto the next piece of gravel. And we're back. On to gravel, 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 gravel. My pram can handle this. So it's very smooth gravel. <laughs> my pal, I should say, my pal, but Alex is done with it. Oh, excuse all the rattling, I have a pump in my <laughs> front back. It's just like, pull it and move. Thanks. Oh, he's so cute! <laughs> that dog was awesome. He's so friendly, he just wanted to play. But I've got my lights on and like, I don't know he likes lights. <laughs> cute. So this is another walk I used to do as a kid. Um, just every night. We didn't have a dog at that time. And we just, my mum and dad, we were always asked to go out for a walk. And this is one of them. Like, Edinburgh is a great city, but when you didn't take advantage of it and then you move back up here, you just think, I still can't believe it. Well, I, I keep looking at Alex and thinking, he's mine. We actually have a baby. Um, but also just walking around here with him and Adam and you just think, God, this is such a good place to live. And by us, I'm from this area originally, so. But yeah, for us, who are outdoors all the time, this is heaven. Just stopped to message Adam and Alex and see how they're doing. I'm not actually going that far away from the house ever these days, just so that if he needs me, I can just turn around quite quickly. I'm like half an hour maximum away. 
um, from the house. Or, if I'm further than that, it's a very good time trial <laughs> experience. I can just race back. <laughs> um, yes, had medicine and now he's sleeping. Oh, he's out for the count and he's just sent me a picture. Whoa. Yeah. Um, oh, he's just too cute. It's hard, like, leaving him at home, but I have, like, when I'm out I, and I, I switch off from, from thinking about Alex, like, not that I'm not thinking about him, but I, I'm actually looking at what I'm doing and like concentrating on the ride. I just, it's so much fun. And I'm hoping to do um, some sportifs and some club rides soon um, with like Adam meeting me in certain places with Alex so that I'm thinking about a 100k reliability light ride, but I need to be able to stop. So I'll have my live location on and I know that there's like a scheduled stop somewhere like the cafe, village hall or whatever. Then I'll meet there, feed Alex. And that buys me a little bit more time just because he is getting older now and by that time it's March so he will be a few more months but he is actually going longer between feeds which is great um, and it's not at the, at the moment it doesn't mind because I'm on the turbo so um, maximum is like an hour hour and a half that I'll be on that and by the way like I I don't know about you but Swift can be sometimes really hard to get back into but I've actually just got I'm doing the Tour de Swift right now which I love um, and I've been doing like regular rides and meeting up with um, uh, virtually on line with a friend and chatting um, twice a week and I feel like my legs are so much stronger for it so just every time you're on the turbo and you're like oh god trying to find motivation like the next time you just remind yourself the next time you're out on a ride it'll be so much easier like you just feel stronger so keeping up your fitness over winter although it's kind of a little bit boring it's nothing compared to being outdoors like oh my god I'm loving today um just remember like it, it will actually make you a better cyclist or at least keep your fitness so when you get back out when the weather's good you'll feel good so yeah but that's me just at the back of the woods Sanker wood so I'm, I'm toying with the idea of going up Nelson but I think the first day like with Alex has been a little bit moody and I've actually got something to go to in the afternoon so I need to kind of get a move on but I'm just loving I'm just having too much fun <laughs> and I can't leave Adam it's not fair um I'll let him get out on Swift or out in the his bike as well so right let's get going so I'm just going around the pond I don't go flying down here because it's a shared pathway so it's got loads of dog walkers and walkers and prams and things so, but it's really pretty and lovely small smooth gravelly paths Whee <laughs> these are what I call like little roller coaster roads I just love going around them they're so much fun <laughs> Fun. Yay! Lots of duckies. Rain's held off, which is good, but it's getting pretty grey now. But again, it's coming into the dark. Like in winter up in Scotland, it's just always dark. <laughs> Saying that, we did have some sunny days recently, so can't complain. Yeah, but they were just really frosty and icy. Yeah. Oh, I'm just having too much fun. <laughs> I just found a new path that I never knew existed. I feel like, like when I was younger, for years, never knew that was there. That's what I love about just taking a gravel bike. You just find all these new places. But there's some roads up here and stuff that I really want to go down with, the bike with. But today's just not the day, but because this was not a planned ride, I just had a free time, so I went for it. Um, but maybe next time I'll actually take a deeper look and look at, just with having Alex at home I don't want to be too long so I don't know if I go down there I might, <laughs> I might just get lost or it might take me somewhere that I don't you know it might be a longer ride so um but that's for another adventure so got that in mind and at least I find one new little route and everyone's been so friendly this morning those people with dogs and that you know like as long as you're kind of courteous to them they're, they're nice to you as well although there was loads of little doggies and I always get a bit you know passing them I always think they're gonna get go for my legs <laughs> But only one, only one chased me, so it's fine. <laughs> but yeah, so we're just heading back now, um, again through Sanker, the back of Sanker Woods, um, past the mountain bike bit, which I will not be going down on my uh, gravel bike because it's actually made uh, mountain bike routes from like a community and forest do them. Like I think it's called Sanker Wood Community, and they've developed these little off-road trails for kids and stuff and people to come up, and they're actually really good, like proper graded ones. And some of them are way too scary for me on my gravel bike, so I will not be doing that. You need suspension. I think I'd break my carbon frame. So, yeah, not long to go now. And then I get baby cuddles and lunch when I get home. This has actually been... It's 
surprisingly a good ride. Like there's lots of little steep hills. So actually it's been a quite good workout and I've just been doing lots of different bits exploring. So um, I've actually really enjoyed it. Hopefully I'll get out a little bit more um, now that the weather, well, saying that, it's still January, but we've had just so much, like black ice and on the really lovely days when there's no wind, but it's just been sheet ice. So like even getting out of our drive, like our cul-de-sac has been a nightmare. And then you get onto the gritted roads and they're still really bad. So just not risking a fall. I've slipped on black ice before. And then once you've done it once, you're like, mm, not worth it. So hopefully I'll get another video up soon. Obviously I'm on the turbo train. I think that's just really boring for anyone to watch. I don't think, <laughs> you know, it's bad enough to actually do the ride, but watching someone on the turbo, I don't think that's um, any fun. The only other question I have for you guys, if anyone can help. So I've got these, I don't know if you can see the Northwave Gore-Tex winter boots and they are worth their weight in gold. Love them. They're so good for winter. I never get cold feet anymore, except they are a nightmare to get your feet in and out of. Like I actually have to hold the buckle down and get Adam to pull the thing off me. And then today I was trying to get my feet in and we had to like manually pull, like reverse ratchet the to loosen it off to get my feet in. Like it's such a lot of money to spend for something that's like actually the use of getting your feet in and out. It's, uh, it's really bad. I know that, I think they took out a newer style that was a little bit, like they looked at reviews and said like, okay, we'll, we'll rectify it. But if anyone's got any solutions of how to get your feet in and out of that easier, because I've just got this fear that I'll get my feet in and then I'll never get them out again. <laughs> just constantly have to wear my winter boots. <laughs> um, but yeah, so please leave a message in the comments if you've got any suggestions of getting them in and out with ease. I've got only like a thin merino base sock on, like it's, they're, they're not anything thick that's stopping my feet getting in there. And my feet are very flexible, I've got very flexible ankles, so I'd have thought like with anyone I could have slipped in quite nicely, but yeah, so please help me out. Leave a comment. Thanks. <laughs> right, tell me go. So I'm going to love you and leave you here. It's been such a good time just to get out and clear my head and get some fresh air. Love it on the gravel bike for change. Thank you so much for following. Hope you enjoyed the video. I mean, it's nothing much. It's just about getting out and enjoying myself. And sometimes I just like watching videos like that, especially if you're stuck indoors and it's horrible weather, you can live through someone else. <laughs> so I will catch you on the next ride. Be safe as well, because it's very icy. <laughs> Bye.